welcome back friends please stop here uh, so let me repeat what I said in the last video the maximum of October is less than the median value of January okay so these are very important or uh, very easy comparison that we can make of the nightly rates of the night room rates of October and January so now let's see how can we calculate the summary statistics of both the data set? So what we do is we click on F1. And now you can see the cursor is on the upper box in this plot, which is of October. So now if I want to calculate, if I want to know the summary statistics of October, I click on execute. So here comes the, or here are the statistics relevant statistics of October. So I'm interested in uh, from the lowest value. So N is 25. So there are 25 data sets. So scroll down. So the minimum is 28, which you can confirm uh, from the box and risk of plot. Uh, so if you scroll down the Q1, which is the lower quartile is 38.5. Median is 48. The upper quartile, which is Q3, 57, and maximum is 79. Okay. Now, if I want to find the summary statistics of January, I have to again draw it, and then again click F1, and I have to bring this cursor to this box in whisker plot, for which I use this replay key, which is uh, which will drop this cursor from year to year. If I click on year, if I click on year. The cursor has come here. So now if I click on execute, this tells me the summary statistics of January. So if I scroll down, again you can confirm the number of data sets is 25. So the minimum value of January is 49. The lower quartile, which is Q1, is 68.5. The median is 86. Upper quartile, Q3, is 98.5. And uh, maximum is 123. Now, what I've done is I've drawn the box and whisker plot for you. So what I've done is I know that the minimum value uh, of both the data set is 28 and the maximum is 123. So now, now what do I do? So I've drawn a scale from 25 to 30 which will include uh, the minimum value of 28 and the maximum value of 123 step of 5 so so basically what we do is this box this is this this part is called the whisker and this is called the box and that's why it's called the box and whisker okay now this box represents the middle 50 percent of the data okay that means the lower quartile, between the lower quartile and upper quartile, you have 50% of the data set. Same in the case of January. Uh, and uh, you can say 50% of your data set will always be less than the median. 50% would be more than the median. Same way you can say 25% of the data set would be more than upper quartile. And 25% of the data set would be less than lower quartile. Okay, so you can make many comparisons. So I've made few comparison statements which I would like to discuss with you. The first is the minimum of January, which is 49. The minimum of January is 49, is almost the same as the median room rate of October, which is 48. So you can see here, the median room rate of October is 48, and the minimum of January is 49. So that's a good comparison statement, which tells me that the room rates of January are much more than the room rates of October. Okay, now what's the next comparison? The maximum room rate of October. So this is the maximum room rate of October, which is 79, is less than the median room rate of January, which is 86. So the median room rate of January is 86. And the maximum room rate of October is 79. So this clearly tells me that uh, the room rates of January in this comparison is more. The third comparison is about 
the median okay so here i have topped in terms of percent so i have said i made the statement the median room rates in january is 80 percent more than that of october room rates now how did i come with that calculation so what i did i took the absolute difference which is 86 take away 86 take away 48 which is 38 so this is the absolute difference of the median room rates now to talk in terms of percent what i did i took the percent that is 38 divided by 48 which is the room rate of october and times it by 100 so which gives you the percent so but that's almost say i i consider this almost to be 80 percent so a different way of checking it is you go 48 times 1.8 so this is increasing by one point or 80 percent that's almost uh, 86 okay and the last comparison that i have made is about overlap this is a difficult statement to understand the overlap of the two box and whisker graph is about upper 50 percent of october room rates and lower 50 percent of january room rates what do we mean by that now this this much is the overlap so i can say this much from year to i would say roughly year is the overlap so roughly this is the upper 50 percent of october and this is about the lower 50 percent of january it's about it's not exact of course 50 percent of january comes from here so the overlap is i have said made a comparison the overlap is between the upper 50 percent of october and the lower 50 percent of january okay so ultimately i made this uh, judgment statement the box and whisker plot clearly tells us that the room rates of january is surely more than than more than in october this may be probably due to january being holidays when people go away and live in hotels hopefully this video is helpful thank you very much